Yep. Here we go again. All right. So this is how it works, basically. I go over weapon stereotypes. Now, what I'm deciding right now is, since I'm doing snipers, do I actually want to include scoped ARs as a sniper? Nah, nah, I'll save that for... Oh, I am going over only three sniper rifles and there's two scoped ARs. I'll make five snipers instead of yeah five snipers in this video. And if I were to do the AR video, it would be a total of six ARs. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's just add scope ARs, two snipers. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll just have this type in scope AR, basically. Um, the bolt. This purple, luscious bolt. Bolt's not actually purple, but, uh, yeah. Um, what isn't there to say about the bolt besides pow? There's not really a stereotype I can really put in against the bolt besides camper scrub that's one of them there's the camper scrub i'm either in a tall one by one that i don't realize could get easily shot down but since i have the high ground against everybody else i could just snipe them before they do that then there's bush sniper scrub who doesn't realize that his masterful cutting plan to hiding a bush isn't gonna work um and then there's just the pro and noob. Now the noob kind of fits in with the whole bush thing, but we're going to talk about a different noob. We'll start with the noob. Noob saw the pros use the bull and think, wow, look at that. This is clearly a good sniper, which in my opinion, it's honestly kind of the best sniper, really. Mm -hmm, not including scope ARs. I would probably take a scope AR. I'm just better with those. Well, the bolt. It's powerful. Its headshots can one tap. It has the scope. Its only downfall is one bolt. But the noob thinks that he'll have godlike aim and hit headshots every day left and right, when in reality, he's scoping for so long, someone else with a different sniper can be even a semi, for all I care, is gonna just snipe him. Just, just, that's it, he's just gonna snipe him. He's gonna peek for so long trying to aim on that one man who's still standing still taking meds. And even if he does take that shot, for some reason, he misses. For, for some reason, he misses. And then there's the pro. This man with godlike aim peeks for two seconds and hits that headshot. You know, maybe he's going for a daring one second, but sometimes if you're a pro sniper, you can hit body shots trying to do good things. I have hit my no scopes, my fair share of no scopes, but most of them are really body shots. Some have been headshots. But this guy with godlike accuracy seems to hit the no scopes left, left, left. I'm bad at English, and right. All right. This man will see this on him. You will see that victory royale, and you will see a bolt in his hand, and you will realize you got wrecked by a guy with godlike accuracy who peeked you for two seconds 
after he saw you for a split second and just deny your right to live. That this guy is pretty scary. He he can hit those prediction shots. I mean I can go on about how good these guys can be. But there's also medium players, which I think we all know the average player. He's just the guy who's in between noob and pro. He can hit his shots, but not as good as a pro can, not as quick, basically. Now let's talk about this piece of this thing. This thing is so bad. Shit. No, 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 sketchy websites. No, no. Shit, videos. Technical difficulties here. I'm sorry, sirs. And ma'ams. And sir, ma'ams. We'll get rid of that. And that. And then we'll go back here. It was the 70s full, okay? This thing is pretty bad. Honestly, I'm not saying don't use it. You might like it, but there's just superior options. Why the f do I keep clicking the wrong things? Go back to images. No. Thank you. No. There we go. This thing. I'm going to give you the stats. Unaccurate as hell. Ten rounds. Not as a zoomed in scope. It's, it's scope doesn't zoom in very well. Did I mention it's unaccurate? Did I mention even pros can probably struggle to hit shots with this thing? I mean, depending on what type of pro we're talking about here, but. Still, though. This is it. Alright, so let's go over the stereotypes. There's really only one stereotype, and there's noob. The guy who just installed the game thinks it's a better sniper because it has way more bullets, a faster fire rate, basically, and that it's only a little bit less accurate. When in reality, he uses it and he can't hit the broadside of a barn with it. He still consists on trying to use it, saying it's better than the bolt when... Look at this thing. Look at this thing. You cannot say this thing is worse than this thing. They come in the same rarity. Actually, scratch that. The semi comes in purple and legendary. The bolt can come in blue. The blue bolt is probably better than a legendary semi for crying out loud. The semi doesn't have the power to go near one tapping. In late game, it might be more useful if you can actually hit shots with it because. The legendary semi has like 150 headshot damage, and most people late game have only 150. But that's even if you get the shot. It's really inaccurate. But yeah, really the stereotype falls into noob. This thing. I'm not gonna lie, I love this thing. This stereotype really involves trick shots a lot. But there's also, I dislike scopes. And I, I got a point. Scope can kind of get you into some tunnel vision situations. And, I mean, you can also use the peak strat with this thing. This thing has the ability of a bolt, really. And, and a less variety. You can find these things basically easier. Um, 
I mean, it, I don't know if the green one has the full ability to one-tap headshot, but I know the blue one has the ability to one-tap headshot over 200 damage. I mean, it's basically a blue bolt, but you don't have a scope. I love not having a scope because I love peak stratting. Jetting, which is basically you're going to aim at your stairs and have a little bit of a field of, field of view that's scoped in against enemy players. If you want to, you can untap your crouch button, because you're probably crouching, let's be honest here, and shoot that shot once you're right over his head and you know you're going to hit it, and then get that really satisfying even though you basically did the cheapest shot you could ever do. Snipe. But honestly, it's honestly a great weapon. It's, in my opinion, about as good as the bolt. I mean, it's not as good as the bolt, but it's close. You know? I really like this thing. Now we gotta go over scope dealers. Uh, yeah, perfect. This will do. Um, the scope they are, honestly, in my opinion, a pretty good weapon. I used to use this thing a lot. I actually won a game because of how much this thing could mow. I do feel as it has been nerfed, because I can't hit that much shots with it as much as I used to. And I mean, when another scope they are comes out, you kind of want to nerf the one that's not as good, since it has basically the same properties. Except one's thermal, and one has five less bullets, and one is basically more accurate than the other. And I'm talking about this one. This thing feels like it's less accurate, but it's still honestly good to use, even though it only has that 24 body shot damage and that like 46 headshot. But let me tell you, this thing used to be so much better than an AR, just less fire rate and less magazine and having a scope. This thing used to do way more than AR body shot, let me tell you. And 88 headshot back when the game was first out and this thing first came out. Um, but literally, this thing is honestly pretty good. 20 bullets, not a stereotype that fits it. I, I can't really, I don't see anybody using this thing. But I could probably fit the scope DR into a stereotype of old timer. A guy who used to remember its old scope, its old damage, and just really misses the old scope DR. I don't really find anybody use this thing anymore. Especially after it basically got nerfed when a new scope DR came out. Uh, I mean... I used to find people that use this and then just its popularity grows down and down and just down. It was nowhere near as good as it once was. And then this thing. 15 rounds. Stereotype that pulls into this? Either just plain godlike aim sniper or I like I'm, I'm bad with snipers and I like having something that takes easier bullets to find guy and honestly I can't blame him I'm bad with snipers but I'm good with the scope they are and I mean it's pretty useful you can see chess and players glowing. You can see players through one wall, but not two. You can through two, but you have to angle it so precise through the small cracks of wood to actually see them to be able to hit them. Or, not hit them, but see them. Crap. 
it's incredibly accurate. I mean, seriously, wherever you shoot, that shot is going to hit something. Um, like the scope they are, but now I just feel like this thing has loads of bullet spreads. And then this thing is like, boom, 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 boom. How am I supposed to aim this? Boom, 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 boom. boom. Really slow fire rate, right? by the way, this thing fires faster than it. Ding, 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 and ting, 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 ting. I'm really bad at sound effects, so I wish I actually used editing, but I don't. I'm trash. Yeah, this thing's more as a crutch sniper, and I like the thermal. Uh, scope rather than just regular sniper, really. I'd probably take this thing over a sniper if I kind of disliked having two things that took the same bullets. Also, let's mention without looking at LA over here, the revolver used to be a godlike sniper, let's be honest here. And then something else came along, let's see if I can scroll down, I can find it. I think we all know what I'm talking about here. Show me the weapon I want to see. God. I don't think I'm going to find it, am I? I'll probably find it up here. <sighs> Aha, this thing. This came along, and then this thing. Basically, just. Do, do people even use the revolver? Like, I mean, if you don't have an AR in the beginning of the game, if it's like the first weapon you find, I mean, you pick it up, but in reality, after you find an AR, you just use an AR. Well, basically, it. I'm pretty sure this video is taking longer than the other one, so let's check. I don't even know how long this one is. Rip dream. Rip dream. Yeah, 15 minutes. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.